When choosing a public REST API on Amazon API Gateway, developers can choose between a regional or an edge optimized endpoint. This video clarifies the similarities and differences between these endpoint types so you as a developer can choose the right option for your work. It is important to understand that all API Gateway endpoints are regional. This means that all requests for a specific API are routed to the region the endpoint is deployed in. This remains the same for edge-optimized endpoints. The difference between these types of endpoints is in how the request is routed. For regional endpoints, the request is routed across the public internet to the regional destination. For example, I have a regional endpoint deployed in the US West 2 region. A client request from Alice Springs in the Northern Territory of Australia would need to traverse the public internet, fighting throttling, congestion, and bounces to reach my API. Edge optimized endpoints, however, take advantage of Amazon's global edge network. This means that a request is routed to the nearest edge location where it then uses Amazon's private network to reach the API destination. In this scenario, my client's request from Alice Springs would only travel the internet to Sydney where it would then use the private Amazon network to reach my API in US West 2. You might be asking yourself, what's the catch? Why not always use an edge optimized endpoint? One reason for not using edge optimized endpoints is if you need caching at the edge. In this scenario, the data is not cached at the edge and every call is routed to the API. If your data is constantly changing, this is acceptable. However, if your data has a long time to live or TTL, then caching the data as close to your client's location makes more sense. This can be accomplished with AWS CloudFront's edge-based caching. I cover more about caching in a later video in this series. Thank you.